What's up everyone? So Wild Bus is a very weird and wild ride. And I think I like it. Developed by Wild Bus Studio, Wild Bus is a role-playing adventure action platformer that takes its 2D sprites and places them on a three-dimensional plane. Think Paper Mario in a way. Before we get into it though, let's read the blurb and see what it's all about. Ever thinking about beating mutant monsters with a fully customizable fighting bus? It's time to rev up the engine. The Wild Bus is a classic beat em up game in a retro style with tons of weapons ranging from giant punch glove, mega drill, megaphone cannon, or even dragons. The story goes the Great Devastation was a massive war between huge enterprises and the government that lasted for more than a decade. When the war ended, Arrakis became shrouded in the dark clouds of despair as mutant monsters and bandits rose from the darkness to control the world. But people who believe in the light drive armed buses in the wilderness in search of the promised land of light, filled with ultimate happiness. The first thing you'll notice about Wild Bus from the music to the art style is just how retro they try to keep everything feeling, and it works. There are nice little touches here and there that will make you feel like you're back to the good old days of playing games on the Super Nintendo. There are also tons of easter eggs hidden in the game for you to discover, and because of the way the world works, things can be hidden out of sight in the most genius of ways. Wild Bus is an open world game where you'll need to speak with the people of this post-apocalyptic world in order to find out what's going on and find clues to, as to what to do next. At first this can feel a little overwhelming, especially because the game is so weird and wonderful, you can end up feeling a bit lost. However, once you get to grasp with how the world works and realise it's not as big as you'd imagined, you'll be zooming around on your bus, defeating bad guys and shooting hoops in one of the various towns. Each town you visit will have different shops, so you're able to upgrade your bus with different weapons, each of which do their own zany things. You get to equip two to your bus at any one time, and these can be swapped out by using the trigger buttons. You can also combine the weapons, so for example, if you had the boxing glove and cannon equipped, you can shoot a bomb from the cannon and then launch it further by punching it with the glove. It's a cool little touch which adds an extra layer of, to the combat once you get the hang of it. As well as the shops for weapons, you also find a bar where you can take on bounties to kill special enemies in the world. These are usually quite fun battles, and once completed, you can head back to the town to collect your reward. Passengers can also be invited to board your bus once your bus reaches their requirements, and these passengers will give you special abilities such as being able to slow down time. As well as having multiple options for weapons and the addition of passenger buffs, you can also acquire different skins for your bus, which range from moving faster to being able to float in water. So you're definitely given a lot of options for navigating this world. Navigating the world, however, is where I came across a few issues. Like I said before, with the 2D sprites on a 3D plane, much like with Paper Mario, whereas with Paper Mario it has 3D backgrounds, for the most part, it makes it easier for you to tell where you are in relation to an object or an enemy. With Wild Bus, however, because everything is flat, it makes it harder to judge how far you are from something. Are you in the way of a projectile or will you land on the platform you were aiming for? It's a minor gripe and the game is so forgiven that if you did, for example, die, you just get placed in the nearest town, which won't be that far away. And climbing up to any platforms you fall down won't take that long to reach the top of again. Again, another thing I would have liked to have seen would have been a map of the world so that I could get my bearings of where I needed to go next, but again, it's a minor issue. And to be fair, it's not a big world and not knowing what's around the corner sort of adds to the mystery of this game. I love the retro inspired style, the music, the cartoon style, it's easy to pick up and play, the controls are simple enough to get to grips with. It took me just under two hours to complete so it's not a very long game. The end of the game is pleasingly as weird as the rest of it and left me confused as to what I just did and also happy, much like an episode of Adventure Time. It's very quirky, doesn't always make sense, but you're happy you went on with the journey. I love my time with Wild Bus. If Wild Bus Studios made a sequel with a larger world and more characters to get familiar with, I would definitely want to play that too. Wild Bus releases on the Nintendo Switch eShop on the 26th of August and is priced at 10.79 in the UK and I believe it's 12.99 in the US. 
Anyway, let me know what you thought of the review. Have you played Wild Bus? Let me know what you think in the comment section if you have. Thank you for watching the review. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, and I'll catch you next time.